All right, how's it going y'all? Today we're gonna to be going over how to set up a search domain and what it is and why it can be awesome for home lab environment. Okay, so what a search domain is, it's actually pretty simple. It's basically your computer automatically adding in a domain name and an entire DNS address to everything you type in. So the way I've set up my home network is everything's on the spacerex.co domain. And so I've got tank.spacerex.co, I've got testbed.spacerex.co, and to type them into my browser every single time, if I wanna to go to a specific IP address, I've got a DNS server that resolves all these things. So instead of typing in the IP address of this box, I can just type in testbed.spacerex.co and it brings me to this NAS. Well, what a search domain is, is it makes that so much easier because now instead of typing in testbed.spacerex.co, I'll be able to just type in testbed. It will automatically add in that .spacerex.co to the end of anything that doesn't have a resolver. So I couldn't do something like tank.com.spacerex.co. I could not have it basically concatenate the tank.com to tank.com.spacerex.co, but anything that does not have a dot at the end of it will be automatically concatenated. And it's really easy to go ahead and set up. And so you can do it on two different levels. You can do it on the per computer level, or you can do it on the DHCP level. So we're gonna be setting this up on the DHCP level, and I'm gonna be using my Unify router and so it's really up to you on however you want to set this up, but most routers should have the option for a search domain. So we can just go through really quickly and set it up. So we're going to go into settings, and now it's pretty simple. Go into networks, LAN, and we go right here to domain name. It's called domain name here, but it's a search domain. And so we want everything concatenated with that .spacerex.co. And this can be whatever you've got, so spacerex.co. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now we're just go, gonna go ahead and apply changes. And so now we'll just have to wait a minute for DHCP to change. We can pretty easily go over here and we'll just open up network settings and we'll check out what my Mac is saying. All right, so now what will happen is once clients reconnect to the router, it will automatically get these things applied. What we can also do is just force it by going into DHCP and renew DHCP lease. And this will just go through, it'll ask the router, hey, you got anything for me? And go through and have the DHCP update. So now under DNS, we should see the spacerex.co domain now is under there. And you can actually add in multiple here. All right, and so now let's go through and try this thing out. So now let's go ahead and just say, we wanna to go to testbed. So we're gonna go testbed. And since we're under Safari, where Safari is gonna automatically try to Google it, we will go ahead and add a slash to the end. And so that way it'll tell Safari specifically, hey, don't Google that. Instead, we actually want to go to address. And so now up here, it's just testbed. And so now it'll just work. We can try the exact same thing in terminal. And just like that, it's automatically concatenated the thing in there and we never have to add in the other extension. It makes it so much easier to manage your network if you're doing things like I do and you don't wanna type in long domain names every single time, you can do it so much faster like this. I'm gonna go through and redo my entire network like this because it just makes my life easier. All right, well that's all there is to it. Go and leave any of the tutorials you like to see me make in the comments below and have a good one, bye.